Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a um, kind of a look at a VPN service that is free called Betternet. Now this was brought to me by a user that watches my live shows and asked me what I thought about Betternet. Now I had no idea of this before um, I tried it and of course I did dig in the web to learn a little more about it and uh, basically this is interesting and I'll tell you the positive and negative sides of this service. Now what's a VPN? It's a virtual private network. It means that suddenly when you use a VPN your internet connection is in a encrypted tunnel between your computer and the computer that you're plugged in to and that is what the VPN service will choose. So basically it means it hides where you are, it means it hides your IP address and also it adds encryption meaning that everything you do nobody can see what it is. So BetterNet is a free service. What it has uh, of a really interesting side because free services often aren't that great uh, often are sponsored with ads. Well, BetterNet is interesting because it's free and it isn't sponsored with ads. So there's no ads, there's nothing added there. And the way it works is that you have this download button here and you have two ways of getting BetterNet VPN. It's by an extension. So if you're using Firefox or Chrome, you can add an extension to your web browser that means, for example, if you use Chrome, then that extension means you are in a VPN only in the Chrome browser and it doesn't affect the rest of your computer. So that means in Chrome you could be in a VPN, you can be in the encrypted tunnel, but you could be in Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer and there it's going to be the regular Internet. The other way is to install the application on your computer through Windows or Mac OS X. This is larger. It means that now the VPN, when it's active, is for everything you do, not just one web browser. So if the objective that you have is to be in an encrypted tunnel on everything you do, you'll install the app in Windows or Mac. If your objective is to only have the VPN on a browser, Chrome, Firefox is possible. They even have an iOS and Android service and of course I will try the Android uh, and the iOS for sure because I'm kind of curious about that. So is it really working? Does it really do what it's meant to do? Uh, yeah it is because I've tried it and it's actually installed on my computer. So here you see the BetterNet icon at the top of my screen and I've got the BetterNet service running right now and it says that it's connected. That's why there's a disconnect button. So basically how it works, you click on it and you'll have a big connect button and you click connect. It may take a few minutes sometimes for the connection to be done. But once it's done, here at the bottom it says United States. Now I live in Canada. What that says is that my VPN is now through a connection that is in the United States. So that means that if I go on a website and ask what's my IP, and I did do the test earlier, it tells me that I'm using a IP in Atlanta, Georgia. So it doesn't tell, you know, it doesn't say that I'm in Canada. It's not my IP address. When I looked at the IP, it is not my IP. And it's very, very interesting for that. And here's a little test that I did. I uh, went to a website that tells you um, if you type where am I right now dot com it tells you where you are this is before the VPN I actually really uh, made the map a little less precise because it was really pointing exactly exactly where I live in Montreal so here it tells you I'm in Montreal that's where I'm located and it did point correctly now I started the service of um, BetterNet VPN and I asked Chrome 
where am I? And it says, sorry, we are unable to retrieve your location yet. And it just doesn't give in information. So it really hides where you are, where you are from. And um, the service here, where am I right now, probably knows that this is a VPN, so it just doesn't say anything. So it, it does work in making you more secure. And, and it, it's cool because, you know, when you go to websites, when you go to Facebook, when you go to different places, it actually doesn't know where you are, can't locate you or pinpoint where you are. And that's interesting uh, for security reasons, for sure. And of course, your IP is hidden. So wherever you go, it's not your identity that can be found or anything. It's something else. So it does the job that it's meant to do. And it does it well. Now, what are the negative side of BetterNet? I've been using it for more than 24 hours now. Connecting, disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting, trying different things. Um, it doesn't connect always to the same servers. So uh, today I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, but yesterday I was not there. I was in um, a location in California. Seems to use mostly US uh, servers. Now, it did add something that's interesting. Since it's in the United States, I, of course, wanted to try a website that has content for the US that is unable to work in Canada, and it does work. I could see videos where I could not see them before. So that means it really thinks I'm in the United States when I'm using BetterNet. And that's an interesting bonus. And that means, you know what, that, that means for me that I will keep this because I will put it on when I wish to be either secure, um, anonymous, or view videos from the United States that I was unable to view before. Now, the bad thing that I've noticed because I've connected and disconnected through the app several times. Unfortunately, one of the things that I haven't found and I don't think it's possible is the possibility to choose where I connect. But you know, it's a free service, so you can't ask too much for it. You got to accept where it's connecting you and that's it. There doesn't seem to be a way to tell it connect me in the UK or connect me in another place. But it does work. Uh, the oh, second problem, once every five or six connections that I did, it just couldn't connect. It tried for several minutes, nothing happened. That, I would suspect that means it just, maybe it's overloaded, maybe the, there's a limited number of servers. You know, it's a free service. It doesn't have the same abilities as a paid service of, for a VPN. So probably it's more limited in the number of servers, so the connections are sometimes difficult to make. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed is when you go on the web, it does slow down, and I don't think it's much better on even paid VPN. Uh, remember, you're creating a connection that is in another direction. So it means that before you know you went, before you use this, you connect directly to a service, and there's very little interconnections in the middle, the minimum interconnections possible. But when you use a VPN, you're adding links, so there's more computers and more uh, you know traces around the web than there was before. So it slows down web browsing. It slows down some of the web pages that I've visited. It's almost impossible to view videos sometimes. Not always. Sometimes it works fine, but on some connects, videos were buffering all the time because it was just probably too slow to stream the details of the video. So it does probably had that negative side because of the free side to it. But overall, you know what, if it's not for streaming video, if it's just to have a tunnel of encryption and an anonymous way of browsing, it does the job that it's meant to do. And for that, you know what, I am keeping this installed on my computer and I am going to uh, use it from time to time. And you know what, I will probably use it to view videos, but what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and let it buffer for a longer period of time while I'm doing something else 
before I go back and view the video if it's something I really want to view. So that's the positive negative side of BetterNet. Uh, it works. It works fine. It can be installed on your browsers. Android, iOS, it can be installed in Windows and Mac. It's free. It doesn't have any ads. Uh, the negative side slows the internet. Sometimes it's difficult to connect. And uh, you know, streaming videos is sometimes not a good experience. And that's because it's a free service. It's very different from a paid service that probably uh, most of the time has better performance. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully you uh, enjoy our videos. If you have uh, any suggestions or any comments, maybe you're using it and you've got your own comments on this. Of course, it's always fun to have your feedback. But thanks for watching.